Welcome to a Maya Not Moment. The Parsha is Ki Tisa. And here's an idea just on really the first few words of the Parsha. Ki Tisa Rosh B'nai Yisrael V'nat Nu. Um, it's not even the first verse, it's just the, the um, kind of half of the first verse of the, right, right by the beginning of the Parsha. Anyway, the idea is like this, that um, we all have states of mind. There's different kinds of mind states. What do I mean by a state of mind? Um, you can have a state of mind w- when you're in a uh, low state of mind, so then the world kind of looks bleak and things look bleak and uh, things disturb you much more when you're in a low state of mind. When you're in a high state of mind, so the same thing that bothered you in a low state of mind doesn't bother you anymore. So uh, one day you wake up in the morning and um, you're in a high state of mind and things look great, the world looks good, uh, your friends look good, your family looks good, um, everything looks fine. And that's a sign of being in a, in a higher state of mind. You wake up in the morning and uh, things don't look so good. It could be it's exactly the same. That's a sign that you're in a lower state of mind. Now, um, there's an idea like this, that consciousness, right, the idea of exile and redemption, galut and geula, is about consciousness. Okay, in a spiritual sense, so that the um, the idea of Mitzrayim, the idea of Egypt, is a restricted state of consciousness, and the idea of redemption of Geula is a very uh, wide, expanded kind of consciousness. So, how do you know kind of where you're holding? How do you know if you're in a in a higher state of mind, a lower state of mind? Well. One of the ways of knowing is how focused you are on yourself or how focused you are on others. So the uh, Parsha over here says, Ki tisayet rosh, when you lift up the head or you raise the consciousness of B'nai Yisrael, when we have a raise of consciousness, venatnu, so we give. And one of the things that you find with people who are in a low state of consciousness is that they're very focused on themselves. It's interesting. Um, you find it with illness, you find it with um, mental illness, right? Where people get very, very focused on themselves. And to the extent that someone is focused on themselves, that's a sign of a lower, a lower state of mind. To the extent that people are focused outward, they're focused on other people, they're focused on the world, Right when it, when 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 we get to very very um, we talk about people who are on a very very high level, so they're focused on all of humanity, right? And they're trying to they're trying to uh, improve all of humanity, and um, and they they're, they're kind of out of the picture completely. So that's a sign of the highest kind of consciousness. So that's the idea. Ki tisat rosh b'nei Yisrael, when you when when we experience a raise of consciousness, vid not nu. So we're giving, and of course interesting thing is that um, when someone's on a really high state of consciousness they're not actually concerned about the question where am I on the ladder what what place am I at right because they're they're so busy giving and they're so busy um, uh, dealing with the people around them and contributing that they're actually not thinking about themselves even to measure themselves good Shabbos